Uh, but I, I want to watch this. I want to watch this. I haven't watched this one yet. So we're going to watch this. This is a day in the life of a Japanese waitress. I'll tell you something, right? I would love to go to Japan. I, th I think that I want to go to Japan at least like once in my life within the next like few years. And then I'll see how it is. Go there for two weeks, maybe a month. See what it's like. See how it's uh, different from the UK. I feel like this so is weird. Yuki, 24 years old, living in the heart of Tokyo, and she's just waking up for work. I guess she's still a little sleepy. She lives on her own in this 1K apartment, meaning one room and kitchen. Not surprising in the middle of the city. Oh, she's using a disposable toothbrush. That's a new one for the series. Disposable toothbrush, isn't that wasteful? She's originally from Fukuoka, but because of her love for anime, Fukuoka. she would visit Tokyo at least once is. a month to attend anime events. So it was only natural for her to move here after graduating university. Oh, she's an anime. She's an anime person. That's an interesting breakfast. <laughs> Yo, you have so many remotes. So, what do you watch? Anime. Oh, what's your favorite right now? Don't know that one. <laughs> That's one thing I want to know. What 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 animes are you guys watching right now? I currently uh what so I finished up uh, my dress up darling again um because I found out that there was uh season two coming. Um, what other animes have I watched? I watched Attack on Titan. I finally watched some of that. That's pretty fucking good. But I, I'm I'm just fucking casual. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just casual with fucking my anime. Cool. I guess she's gonna watch some anime while she gets ready. So Yuki considers herself an anime otaku. In Japan, otaku meaning someone who's deeply obsessed in something. Once having a negative connotation of people so obsessed in their hobby that they were thought of as poorly dressed and stayed home all day. But now there are fitness otaku and even fashion otaku in Japan. Otaku. In fact, today 45% of Japanese consider themselves otaku. Oh, I'm a gaming otaku. I, 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 and I, I'm a content creator otaku. <laughs> but holy shit. So Yuki commutes to work by train along with the majority of Tokyo residents. Her commute fortunately is only about 15 to 20 minutes with no transfer as she was able to choose her apartment after getting her job. Wow, I don't know what the fuck that means, but wow. Good morning y'all, I'm back with another day in the life. This one is going to be a special one. The train should be coming soon and Yuki should be on it. I think it's right here. Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? I love Man, I guess that's place. early for her. So her workplace is just a four minute walk from the Shinjuku Station West exit. Interestingly, Shinjuku Station itself is the world's busiest railway station with over 3.6 million people passing through daily, which helps explain their constant flow of customers. Shinjuku. Shin Shinjuku is, the, um, is where the crossing is as well. I swear to God it is. Where that like is Shinjuku crossings, where it's like everyone knows it. Like when you think of Japan, you think of that fucking crossing. And this is where she works. Yuki is a waitress at Pandora, a Holy teppanyaki shit. restaurant, Japanese style flat grill, which has been a local favorite since 1972. Local? Kobe beef. Bro, right? Where I live in England, like in, in my section part of England, that would be considered like an upper class restaurant. Like, holy shit, that's just a fucking local area? Steaks and teppanyaki course meals. Oh, yeah, normal waiter, waiter, waitress stuff. So one of her first tasks in the morning is to check the restaurant's emails to ensure that all of the reservation requests that she received overnight are registered in the system. Yep. After that, she works on the shop's social media. What do you have to do? That's pretty cool. So she's like a social media thing for the stuff. 
Oh, she's talking on the phone. Taking customer reservations is also one of her daily responsibilities. Now she moves on to her next morning task, cleaning, starting with the restrooms. In Japan, it's common not to use cleaning companies for restaurants and businesses in general. It's very much ingrained in Japanese culture. Taught as early as elementary school, yeah, that Japanese never students learn to wear surroundings by taking responsibility for different areas in the school each day, including the toilets. Oh, that's an oshibori, the customary wet towel offered before the meal. It's not only used for customers to wipe their hands, but also as a sign of welcome. Oshiboris are regularly offered warm in the winter and chilled in the summer to create an even more welcoming environment. Do you buy those? <laughs> oh, I guess the restaurant received a delivery from the beverage vendor. It's not necessarily her job to stock the items, but it's common in Japan for any of the workers to pick up small tasks like this. I don't, I don't think it's like just in Japan where this happens. Like, you know, I, I've worked in a few places and like it's all like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm not going to do this job because I'm not allocated it. It's like, do you need help with this? Okay, I'll come help you out with that and you you help me out with this. This when they see it's available. It's all about working as a team. But maybe that's just because I'm fucking nice. So about half an hour before the restaurant opens, Yuki starts preparing the signs. In Tokyo and other major cities in Japan, where the restaurants are often hidden inside of buildings like Pandora, restaurants commonly advertise their menu with pictures on street level. Mm. What? You made that? That's pretty fucking good drawing. She's pretty good drawing. I'm not gonna lie. So it looks like Yugi's gonna be cleaning for just a little bit. So let's do what we do and explore this place. Maybe we can meet some people. A lot of music. Music's nice. Hi, what are you doing? So what's on today's menu? Udon. Can't wait to see it. Oh, I've never, so I've never that had Japanese food. Me is really but important. I want it. it actually tells you where the beef Try is coming from. Try sushi on the street. That's something I should do. Oh, the chef is doing shashori, ingredient prep for the day. And wow, she cleans the drain right away. Gotta appreciate that cleanliness. And now she does shashori for the garlic, which is a key ingredient in many teppanyaki dishes. So what do you use the garlic for? Are you gonna slice it now? Good chef. Hi, can I bother you? Hi. You look like the manager. Hi. How long have you been working here? So what's important when working as the manager? Got it. Wow. Cool, they even have a private smoking area here so you don't bother the other customers. Okay, so I was actually looking at this tank behind me and I'm like, oh, I guess they don't have any fish. In fact, just right here they have awabi. Oh, blades of steel! That's a real deal 16th century samurai armor worn by one of the top generals, Hoshie Maeda, sitting in the open. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not even just because everyone knows the restaurant fucking actually Japanese has two samurai. separate restaurants, one on the second floor and the other on the fourth. And the what? workers share the load between the two. Today, Yuki is working mainly on the fourth floor, the Kobe beef specialty teppanyaki restaurant, but will sometimes help on the second floor as needed. In a typical Japanese teppanyaki restaurant, the chef cooks the food over a flat stainless steel grill right in front of the Dude. customer. So it's Yuki's job as a waitress to seat the clients, that looks take so orders, serve drinks good. and sides while also keeping the table clean. The food oh. looks phenomenal sizzling on the teppan. Interestingly, it's often completely confused with hibachi, which in Japan is simply a circular heating container designed to hold burning charcoal. And teppanyaki itself in Japan is not known to be a flashy dinner performance, but a way to cook food such as steak, okonomiyaki, and monchayaki. That looks so wow, good. It's before noon and the seats are already filled up. Okay, so we are in the kitchen and you can see right here, this is the miso soup and those are the ingredients that when you put the miso soup in, it's all ready to go. In fact, it's typical in a Japanese restaurant for the rice and miso to be served at the same time as I the don't... main dish. So it's her responsibility to keep a keen eye on each table to ensure that the food is served on time. 
Do you like drink? By the way, do you have any what? days off? <laughs> and what do you do when you're off? <laughs> like what? Cool, do you go alone? I feel like with Japan, the internet has done a lot of things, which is like really, really good. Because you have to remember, right, with, with the UK, like our, our differences in terms of from north to south are quite different because it's like eight hours, 10 hours. I mean, sometimes if you want to get to the top of Scotland, it's like 12 hours to get up there, right? With Japan, just like how it is, it's so much smaller than the UK. So I feel like it's easy. And also as well, they've got better infrastructure with like bullet trains and stuff. Like, I feel like the internet has done so much good shit with that. So it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that when I hear, like, Japanese people have, like, a load of online friends and they meet up. I think that's just normal now. It's terms of in, like, you know, Japan. Because, I mean, you look online, like, TikTok, I get quite a lot of it, where, like, two people from different states in the United, you know, in the United States like go to meet each other and of course over there it doesn't make sense to have online friends because like it there's such long distances but in japan it makes more sense to have them because it's easy to get to them it's easy to fucking meet them as well which is quite cool actually i think that's a really sick thing with japan with its infrastructure oh how do you make friends online yeah just got forms 4chan Oh, I guess this salaryman is here for a quick lunch. In the city, especially in crowded business districts with many Japanese salarymen, it's common for restaurants during lunchtime to also prioritize a speedy and quick service, understanding that many office workers have short lunch breaks, so the restaurant staff need to be extra diligent when preparing and serving food. You don't get like half an hour. So I think did. Yugi is going to be a little bit busy serving all the customers, so let's go down to the second floor and see what's going on. Oh, the chef's making their lunchtime hamburger. What's the key to a delicious hamburger? 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 Cool. So Japanese hamburger <laughs> is quite a bit different compared to the Western hamburger. For one, the meat patty is served with a side of rice instead of between two buns. What? Also, the patty itself is made to be juicier and ingredients like onion, panko, egg, and flour are often used creating a different flavor and texture profile. Wow, that's You gotta call that amazing. hamburger. How dare it's you? Slowing down. How dare you call that a hamburger? Oh, I see. Yuki is also responsible for tending to the front register. In Japan, it's fairly common for customers to pay at the register, even more so during lunchtime, so Thanks. it's normal to have a line of salarymen waiting to pay at the door. Damn oh, bro. that's the Yoshu Show, an official Japanese unitemized receipt, often requested by Japanese businessmen for tax filing purposes. What? Like, I, I, I don't do taxes, right? But, like, fucking hell, how much taxes are they doing if they've got to, like, get a fucking receipt to give to their fucking tax like you just say this is how much money i've earned this is how much money i have and then it's like okay we'll just tax you based on that not like we've well, had this food so uh you know we we're gonna reduce your fucking tax by like 100 percent Oh, it seems like the last lunchtime customer has left. In Japan, it's very common for restaurants to close down for a few hours between lunch and dinner to clean up, rest, and prepare for the evening. Oh, she's recording the sales from lunchtime. How are the sales so far? Kobe beef? Oof. Kobe beef is good. I've never had it, but fuck me, does it look so amazing. This is awesome. They're about to have their makanai meal. Yay, the workers' lunch time! Well, I'm, well, I'm actually gonna see how much. So she must be hungry. <laughs> how much is At this how much restaurant, is everyone helps sushi, out by cooking do. and serving their own makanai, a meal provided by the restaurant for the workers. It's a large part of Japanese restaurant culture for workers to eat together in this way. Makanai allows the workers a chance to talk, bond with each other, and it even sometimes gives rise to new menu ideas. A lot of the time, though, the makanai meals are completely different from what's served on the restaurant's menu. Where are you going now? 
Shopping for store supplies is also one of our responsibilities. Other than food and drinks, the restaurant also needs to purchase cleaning supplies, stationery, napkins, and so on. They often purchase in bulk online, but since the store is really close by, she goes in person almost every day. <laughs> So what did you buy today? Pineapple candy, paper bags. Okay. I guess I don't the think dinner shift has begun, and there's a customer already. So the restaurant reopens at 5 p.m. for dinner, common for many restaurants in Japan. Usually starting slow with customers, but picking up by around six. Another common requirement when working as floor staff for many Japanese restaurants is fluency in keigo, a system of honorific speech in the Japanese language to show a sign of respect, in this case to the customer. Sorry, I've never seen so many people all fucking awkward, right? So these... <laughs> <laughs> Usually I'd turn, right? I'd I'd turn around and I'd like sit on the side of my seat so I could face them and be like, hello, yes, I would like this, 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 and this, and I've booked this. Why are they facing like It's like a fucking NPC in Skyrim? It's like going to bed now, bye bye. See you later, man. Have a good sleep and uh don't get eaten. But like, what people go? Oh, did you did you order? Did you order? Ooh, okay. Like, just turn your fucking is fluency seat. And keigo, a system of honorific speech in the Japanese language to show a sign of respect, keigo. in this case to the customers. Even difficult for many Japanese, especially without practice. Fortunately for Yuki, she worked part time at a restaurant even during university, which allowed her plenty of opportunity to refine her language ability. What's that? <laughs> Nice! Apparently the restaurant is doing a collaboration with the Vocaloid producers to create seasonal menu items like this, and Yuki is the one who organized it. She says that as an anime otaku, it's one of her future dreams to create and run her own collaboration cafe. Although it's still a vague idea right now, she truly appreciates cafe. working for an owner that provides such an encouraging environment. I hope her dream comes true. Nice, they're seeing the customer all the way off to the elevator, known as Omi Okuri. Escorting customers is part of Japanese restaurant culture, as well as high-end department stores and even car dealerships. It's a sign of respect and gratitude for coming to their business. Dude, I wish we had this in the UK. She says that during her time working as a full-time waitress, she learned the importance of reading and anticipating the customer's needs and acting beforehand. It's a large part of Japanese omotenashi culture, a deep and honest form of hospitality treating customers with respect without asking for anything in return. One of the main reasons why in Japan, tips at the end of the meal are very uncustomary. Dude. Okay, so the last customer has left. Now it's time to clean I'll up the tip. place. But then I also know that they take offense to that. Oh, it looks like Yuki is washing the dishes for the last time today. Although the workers started cleaning up when the customer slowed down towards the end of the night, now the team focuses all of their attention to closing up. Okay, it looks like like whenever whenever I go out for dinner, right? And I don't know about anyone else, right? But when I do go out for dinner, which I really actually want to do soon, I might ask a few people around if they want to go out for dinner. But like, I'm not gonna lie, I always tip. I always say like, hey, here's five pounds. You know, thank you very much for the service. But like, Jesus Christ, imagine not tipping. I feel bad. Looks like Yuki is down on the fourth floor, but now she joins the second floor to help finish up. Oh, she's cleaning out the beer dispenser. Apparently, the restaurant cleans each piece and runs water through the machine as part of their daily cleaning routine to Jesus. ensure that customers receive the best quality beer each and every time it's served. Now she has to recheck the beverage inventory and place orders for the next day. Oh, so oh. you're using the fax machine to place the order? A fax machine. So in Japan, fax machines even in this day are still being used, not only in business. What the fuck? I've never used a fax machine. I've never seen one either. What? Offices, but in restaurants as well. There are still vendors and customers who prefer Holy fax. So as not doing shit. Well, I don't even know what fax machine is. I like, I like, I don't actually. Wait, give me a moment. What is a fax machine? Uh, an exact copy of a document made by electronic scanning and transmitting the data. What? Why are they doing it? Why are they doing it like that? Why don't they just do it on like a a tablet? 
What? Well, what fucking shit way of doing it? Convenience them and to keep their business, Japanese establishments continue to offer fax support. Also, all the sales from today must be accounted for and recorded. At this point, the restaurant is almost ready to be closed, but since she still has a bit of extra time, she again makes use of it by doing some administrative work like making flyers, creating SMS posts, and so on. <laughs> nice, she's bringing home the leftover rice. Yay, finally done! Quite a long day, but for many Man, Japanese who work full time good. in the Japanese food service industry, the shift starts from when the restaurant opens until it closes. At last, she's made it home! Time for her to get her me time! But first, before dinner, she quickly plastic wraps the rice individually for freezing. Quite a common practice in Japan. She says this amount of rice will last her for about a full week. Jeez. Now, time that to get dinner ready. Days. I guess today she's having the rice that she brought back with her, along with other food she already has in her fridge. You cook that fish yourself? That looks like a good ass meal, I won't lie. <laughs> I guess it's one of the advantages that you Fish get to save on food when working at a restaurant. Finally, bench. she gets to watch her favorite anime and enjoy her dinner. So it looks like Yuki's gonna finish up dinner, and then after that, probably watch her anime until 2 o'clock, at which point she'll go to sleep. That's pretty much a day in the life but of a Japanese But when the fuck did she waitress. wake up? What time was that? 8 o'clock, 2 o'clock, fucking hell, she's only getting 6 hours of sleep. Holy fuck. Fuck! She needs to. She needs to go to bed, bro. She needs to go to bed at like twelve. Holy fuck! That is a nightmare. Right. Okay. Well. Anyway, we're we're gonna move on swiftly on. Fucking hell! I would hate my life if I did that. But I guess Japanese people like know that like that's their responsibility.